Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to click subscribe if you want more weekly updates on investment strategies. Now drawing to a close all eyes and now looking to 2023, and with investors facing one of the most difficult investing environments in decades including high inflation ever, increasing interest rates and a recession looming. It can be difficult for investors to know what to do. So in this video we'll be taking a look at arguably the world's greatest investor Warren Buffett and seeing how is Mr. Buffett investing for 2023 and including what is the famous Buffett indicator saying right now. Then we'll take a look at Buffett's portfolio to see how is he positioning himself full 2023 and then we'll highlight any key insights and takeaways. As always if you do enjoy anything in the video then drop a like always appreciate it. Okay first up let's start with the big picture view of the investing environment and we'll see what is the famous Buffett indicator saying right now with 2022 being a very turbulent year for investors. So starting things off with the Buffett indicator and named sell is Warren Buffett. Said it's probably the single best indicator to know where we are with stock valuations and basically it adds up the value of the US stock market and it divides it by GDP. So the output of the country and then it kicks out a percentage and here you can see it goes back to 1950 and we get this nice historical trend line going through the middle and we get these overvaluations, undervaluations where things are overbought and oversold. So what conclusions can we draw well? First thing to point out is that the highest that it seems to go in the last 50 years is this two standard deviation line. And once it had broken that you can see there was a significant decline over the next decade and almost went to two standard deviations below. Then we have the crash and again it just broken above this two standard deviation line, and this time came all the way down close to one standard deviation below before recovering, and then we went into the great financial crisis taking us down a lot lower now we've had this epic run starting 2010 which brought us all the way back up to two standard deviations above, and we have had a big correction into bear market territory. But we're still sitting around this one standard deviation line, so it certainly hasn't corrected back to the historical or anything below. So for me this stays that next year we definitely need to proceed with caution, as there's a very good chance markets could take another other leg lower especially with what's going on with the interest rate hikes. Moving on to Warren Buffett's portfolio. And here is how it looks right now. So, currently his portfolio valued just under 300 billion. And it's made up of 49 positions. Now if, we jump just looked at this it looks. Like Apple is a significant portion. However the more pieces to someone's. Investment portfolio the better picture. We get. So I always go away and we can. Grab Buffett's cash position as well. When we add in the cash you can see. It's just as big as his Apple position. So one of the key points is that Buffett keeps and holds a strong cash position. In times of uncertainty, the second point is that although his portfolios made up of almost 50 positions, the majority is just held in seven positions. So he's a big fan of holding a lot less stuff but higher quality. The third point is a mistake I think many new investors would make they would take a look at Buffett's portfolio and they'd probably try and copy, and they'd look at Bank of America or Coca-Cola and just buy them at today's prices. But the big mistake is that most of these were bought many many years ago, and in fact even decades ago. So it's more important to look at what he has been buying recently now. Warren Buffett been buying over the past year. Well he's been significantly increasing his investments in energy stocks and one of the major ones is Chevron. And when everything's been crashing down Chevron is up by 45%, and you'll notice it is now in his top 7 here. And finally this just highlights what he's doing with his cash position. So all the way to 2020 to 2021 he was holding a record amount of cash and you'll notice when all the panic selling was going on. Warren Buffett made significant investments. So he did spend a big chunk of his cash position in 2022. He was a buyer living up to his famous quote be greedy when others are fearful. So after analyzing Warren Buffett's portfolio what conclusions can we draw? Well here are five. Number one, he likes and continues to keep a strong cash position obviously to take advantage of any crashes and low prices. Number two, in 2022 when everything was crashing, Buffett was a buyer and he didn't do any panic selling. Number three, for most people, it's more important to take a look at what has recently been buying and not necessarily what he's currently holding as you make the money when you buy. Number 4. The biggest investments Buffett has been making over the past year is in the energy sector being Chevron. 
And number 5, Buffett really does like dividend-paying stocks, and this way he continues to have a strong income especially in a recession, which also then fuels his big cash position. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you want more weekly updates on investment strategies.